The battle between seven kings. The betrayal from loved ones. The lust for power. The story of how a 13-year-old boy rose to power to become the first emperor of China is filled with brutal bloodshed and violence. Two thousand years ago, a ruthless power struggle between seven small kingdoms was taking place in ancient China. During that chaotic time, a 13-year-old boy was crowned king in Chan State. Ying Zheng. Many ministers within the palace, saw this as an opportunity to manipulate the young king and increase their influence. One among them, was Lu Boy, the regent prime minister of the state of Qin. He had a secret affair with the king's mother, Queen Dowager Zhao. As King Zheng grew older, Lu Boy became fearful that the boy king would discover his affair with his mother, Lady Zhao. He decided to distance himself and look for a replacement for Queen Dowager and found a man named Lao Ai. The queen accepted him as her lover and Lao Ai secretly had two sons with the queen. With time, Lao Ai's grew more powerful and he planned a coup to replace King Zheng with one of his hidden sons. Lao Ai seized the queen mother's seal and mobilized an army in an attempt to start a coup and rebel. But he was betrayed by his own co-conspirator, Lu Boy who sided with the king for his own survival. When King Zheng discovered what was going on in his palace, his response was very brutal. He ordered his trusted generals to attack Lao Ai. Lao Ai was captured and killed brutally along with his entire family. Lu Boy was forced to commit suicide by drinking poison. And the queen mother was placed under house arrest until her death. Ying Zheng then assumed full power as the king of the Qin state. Between 247 BC and 221 BC, Qin had emerged as one of the most powerful of the seven warring states in China. In 230 BC, Ying Zheng unleashed the final campaigns to conquer the remaining states one by one. He defeated the Qi kingdom and China was unified under Qin control. When he was 38, Ying Zheng declared himself Qin Shi Huang, meaning first emperor of Qin and established the Qin dynasty, and became the first sovereign ruler of unified China. Qin Shi Huang introduced many reforms in order to unify his empire. He abolished feudalism and divided his empire into 36 provinces under his direct control. Officials were appointed based on merit rather than their inheritance. Among them was Li Si from the former Chu state who became his most trusted minister. The emperor was ruthless in implementing his orders and those who disobeyed were met with severe punishment. He banned and burned many books which opposed his views and executed scholars in order to control information. He brought peace upon the warring Chinese kingdoms and unified them under a strong centralized power. Yet the emperor faced many outside threats from nomadic invaders. So he ordered the construction of an immense defensive wall which connected numerous state walls which had been built during the previous four centuries to prevent outside invaders. The Great Wall of China But despite all these achievements, he was not satisfied. He dreamed of something much bigger. Becoming Immortal he traveled across his country in search of elixir of life, which would supposedly allow him to live forever. During his early years of his rule itself, he planned for his own rebirth after his death. He ordered his men to build an underground tomb, along with an underground palace and an army, to accompany him into the next world, in order to continue his rule. The Terracotta Warriors But his obsession with immortality didn't give him any success in defeating death. During his fifth tour, the emperor became seriously ill and died. 
The cause of his death is believed to be due to Chinese alchemical elixir poisoning by ingesting mercury pills. After his death, the Qin dynasty fell from power due to internal power struggles. Even though Qin Shi Huang is portrayed as a brutal tyrant who had an obsessive fear of assassination, he made significant contributions to the Chinese society. His decision to have unified system of weights and measures, introduction of a single currency, standardized writing script and numerous infrastructure projects helped the successive rulers in better administration. Even though he failed to conquer death, the remains of his underground kingdom secretly guarded by his now world-famous terracotta army, still remain a mystery. Thank you.